No items, but access to the treasury. Oh, there's a third! Even better! Admittedly, Iridia is not as good for Zeromas as other black mages, so I'm not giving her the adamant armor. My melee fighter is going to be doing most of the damage. Free crystal ring, I'll take it. A third Avenger? Unfortunately, <laughs> it, it's it's no good. So depending on who and what we get here, we'll determine whether we're ready to go or have to do the sealed cave. Oh, another another lunar boss. Could be Ogopogo, could be Wyvern, could be the D Lunars. Wyvern! And I got rid of my Dragon Spheres. Okay, so <laughs> So that W2 flag saved my life right there. We got Lunar Dragons taking over Baron here. And our character. Oh, Yang again. Ah, oh, we're mad. He's mad at us. Well, no. Uh, was this the one we ditched or the one who was brainwashed? Which one was it? So, Edge is in the Tower of Babel. We will not be getting him. So, what key items does that leave? So, if we don't get the Legend Sword... We'll get whatever else it is, and you know, we'll just find out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay, we got the pass, but well, that shortens having to do the moon. We got to do the sealed cave. Don't need to fight trapdoors, we're just gonna plow through it, get through here, do our grinding, and finish the game. So, not a sub 2. Uh, very likely a sub 230. Yeah, defense is the best thing for Cecil. I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna do the the trick once we get once we get to Zeromas. Now the other question Of course, we got the Excalibur as part of one of the key items, and the pass is shuffled in with them. What got taken out? Nope, not gonna think about it too much.
Just random musings while we get through this too long dungeon. Nope. Oh. That was an accident. So here's our legend sword. Who's guarding it? Who's guarding it? Who's our evil wall? Calcarina. Might as well put these to good use. I don't think I have any other attack items, unfortunately. At least ones that hit all enemies. Come on, Rydia. Summon! Summon! Thank you! Okay, it does hit all of them. Never mind. I like those numbers. Can't catch warp in here. Gotta, gotta come out one more. Nope. Yep. Even getting out of here is a pain. I've got to gain at least 20 levels to stand a chance to get the final boss. Of course, uh, Rosa needs Cure 4 in life, too. And I don't think i got any Hermes sandals. It would be nice to give to Sid for the final battle, but he's got Bacchus' wine. Oh, time for a grinding session. Yep, I got rid of that Dragon Spear too quickly. There's really not much else we have left to do. Got through a good chunk of the game, except for the moon, the giant of Babel. That's most of it. Now, Kane, okay, can you take these guys out with one shot? Should have attacked. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the one reason that, well, another reason that Rydia is not favored above the other Black Mages is despite a, her summons being super useful, she has the worst HP growth in the game. She just barely broke a thousand there. So if she does not survive while fighting Zeromus, I'm probably not going to bother reviving her.
That's right, I also actually need to forge the crystal, too. Can't, can't leave without that. Okay, life two. Rosa just needs holy to... Well, she doesn't really need it. It'd just be nice to have. Still bloody surprised by the eggs! Mm, not quite there, Kane. Yeah, it's my fault for getting rid of the Dragoon Lance. Would have been an easy one shot. Keep on going until we're at a good enough level. Yeah, might as well use up all my coffins. That should be good enough. Tw 20 sirens is usually enough. Oh. Wrong way. Everyone gained a single level after winning these fights. It just takes a little while to grind up to level 60. Halfway there, in terms of coffin usage, at least. It would be nice if Rydia broke 2,000 HP, but I'm not... <laughs> I'm not certain she'll get that far. Strong enough to one-shot these guys. Thank you, Cecil. And getting to the point where not everyone gains a level every battle. There we go. No more coffins needed. That'll speed things up a little bit. And so, and Rosa finally has Holy. Couple more, couple more. Back attack by an egg now. <laughs> Okay, 
Rudy has Flare. She gets Meteor at level 60. Not gonna get that high. Okay, one more. Who's going first? Come on, Kane, thank you. Okay, first stop, dwarf base. Top off, second stop, Lee Smith. It would have been nice if more pots did everything like that. And the other nice thing about this rando is you don't have to actually wait for this guy to finish. And we never found another crystal sword unless it's a... Yep, not that lucky. Okay, we have a shot at getting a, a about a 205. Pro probably closer to 210. I, I think it can be done. We just need a little bit of luck. And unfortunately, I don't have, have a lot of cure items. So Rosa is going to be <laughs> the one keeping everybody alive. And we want Troy Town. And that lady's in our way again. Maybe just be faster to go around her. I think we ended up having to get all the key items in this run. That's never good. Because I could I could have taken the moon path at any time, really. But that I needed the crystal, that was the problem. Wasn't looking for the path, looking for the crystal. And we almost had all the vanilla party, just missing edge. Okay, I'm actually gonna set up first here. Come on, can somebody else get a turn while we're waiting? Yet. Oh, Testimus! Hey, I called the name too. Now, if you're not familiar, Testament is from the Guilty Gear series. I believe he is the final boss in the first game. Okay, that's some respectful damage there, Cecil. I like those numbers. And don't nuke Rosa! Oh, never mind. <laughs> She's got the adamant and the glass helm. Uh, 
that. Key to surviving at low levels is nerf the Big Bang. Might as well use this. Yeah, oh, Kane should survive that. Yep, he's fine. Okay, Rydia, get your turn in. Come on, come on, Rydia. Yes, thank you. Kane again. He's probably not going to survive this. Oh, never mind. He's probably not going to survive this unless I nerfed it successfully. Oh, Kane, you are one lucky bastard. Let these guys dish out the damage while we wait for them to shake again. Doing less damage with each cast there, Rydia. He may not survive this, unfortunately. He may not survive that and the Big Bang. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Nice crit. Yep, rip Rydia. No, we're doing fine. We'll beat him. Yep, he, he's already dead. Who will get the finishing blow? Cecil! No, nope, sword beats Scythe. Uh, that was a good run, so yeah. That might have actually been sub too, uh, taking into account the pre stream music. So that was close. Again, don't have, don't have a timer, can't really tell. It's, it's a close estimate. So that was a good run. Just getting the right stuff at the beginning. <laughs> Despite not being able to buy adamant armor and glass helms and everything in the shops again. <laughs> still got still getting three adamant armors, two in chess. Is damn lucky. But admittedly it is more it is more fun when there's someone on COCOM to chat with. And what are our stats? Can't think of any key items we missed. Yeah, because I think I think the pass replaces spoon in this one.
I'm about to find out. Yeah, 145.38 game time. Not bad. Yep, all key items. Probably 20 bosses or so. Oh, called it! <laughs> yeah, last character was Edge. He was in the Tower of Babel. Was not going there. So, here's our recap. I wonder if I wonder if the showcase here is random or if it's if it's based on the alphabetical and the key items. No, that, that one, yeah, already doesn't make sense. It, it's probably just random. So I guess what. Uh, the things I want to see out of this, of course, getting the Luffy 2 boss music from the Twin Harp and seeing the elements replace Calcabrena. <laughs> I want to see them dance! Whew, excuse me. I don't want to say much, let the music play out. Our Shay Hydra about is now satisfied. Despite not actually using it. Yeah, poor Rydia's mom just left out in the middle of the village. Waiting for us to loot her corpse. I've been pretty lucky with that one, because the Mist Dragon being in Baron two times in a row. Just the first versus second battle this time. Ooh, yeah. I'm definitely feeling a bit tired after that run. Man, that's what I came in here for. Just uh, had some energy to use, had some time. Didn't feel like starting a new game on my PS4 yet. This worked out well. So I can get the yesterday's run rendered and uploaded along with the rest of Return of Toho Mother. And I'll probably split this into three parts. The last one was just two. But I, I made them longer. Just so I don't step on uh, uploading Return of Toho Mother on weekends. Wow, the music cut out. <laughs> Didn't have time for it to finish. P probably because uh, Excalibur wasn't counted on those. So yeah, it's a... It's a slight change-up from just not having to forge anything. It gives a nice little incentive to... Ooh, go, for, go for more key items and change things up a little bit. Uh, the other V flag, V2, uh, is giant, giant of Babel percent, where you just have to beat the Giant of Babel to beat the game. Uh, th of course, the downside to that is you don't fight Zeromus, and therefore do not see what you get from him. But at the same time, I don't know of any way you wouldn't be able to fight Zeromus in that flag. I'll have to check it out sometime. I don't know when. I honestly don't know when I'm going to do another run of this. Because, uh, of course, what I've been doing is... I didn't want to start a new game while I was playing Return to Home Mother because I can easily get distracted and feel like playing that instead of what I'm streaming. And this is just kind of a way of filling in gaps 
So I will probably be starting up a new game sometime this week and uh, just letting the video upload schedule go on its own until all of Return to Home Mother is up. And I do have all those videos edited and the next project announced on the finale video. So for the next few weeks, those are going to go up. I'm going to do my usual between project break. So it's possible I will be streaming some races or maybe some uh, runs of this on something else whenever, if I get in the mood for it. It just depends on how hooked I get on what I'm playing. But at the same time, uh, this month is just kind of a buffer month. I want time to play through like Shining Resident Evil Fane, maybe Octopath Traveler. Because once Dragon Quest XI comes out, I'm diving into that pretty much full time for gaming. And we'll just have to see uh, how hooked I get on that and what happens after that. Because admittedly, uh, September and October, I'm getting a ton of new releases those months. Uh, September alone is like uh, Labyrinth of Coven, Labyrinth of Refrain. I, I I cannot remember the name of that the name of that game. But yeah, it's a one of, one of Nisa's releases. Uh, Dragon Quest XI, uh, Valkyrie Valkyrie Chronicles 4. Uh, SNK Heroes Tag Team Battle, uh, the SNK Collection in October, and just just a few others that I can't recall off the top of my head. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a good autumn for gaming. So here's our presented by, We're winding down. So we'll, we'll see how busy I get for for streaming versus playing regular games this fall, and but I'll still hang out with the uh, with the usual groups, be active on. Um, on Twitch, even if I'm not streaming. Yes, there are plenty of people worth watching these days. So here's Aziendo! No, can't think of anything else to say. Uh, thank you viewers for tuning into this, watching either on Twitch or later when this goes up on YouTube. It'll probably be... You know, this probably won't go up until September. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll see. So with the prelude winding down, I just want to say thank you guys again for watching. I'm Gun Arm Dine. Call me Dine. If life is giving you a hard day, never be afraid to you putting it with a fork. You guys have a good rest of the weekend, and I will see you later.